Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Sunday. Okay, so this video will hopefully be kind of short um, because uh, this is not the greatest candle ever. So what I'm reviewing for you guys here today is um, it's a root candle. Um, if you've been with my channel for a while, you know that I actually really enjoy root candles and I used to purchase them quite frequently when the flower market, um, the specific vendor that I shopped at most of the time, they carried pretty much all of the root candles and they would also bring in like a lot of the limited edition um, holiday stuff or fall releases, things like that. So I was pretty lucky in that um, not only was I able to smell a lot of root candles in person, which is difficult to do because they are mostly sold through their website or in their store in Ohio. Um, but they're not sold at a ton of like boutiques. I'm sure they are at a few. Um, but they're just not as readily available as, say, like a Bath and Body Works type candle. So, um, yeah, this particular scent right here um, is called Pumpkin Roll. And I'm just going to turn this holder. This holder, by the way, is from Bath and Body Works. This was from last year. They do have a similar one this year. But here is what the glass jar looks like it's really cute so it's got these pumpkins that um, go around the entire uh, candle you can see that this black is pretty opaque but you can see a little bit of that flame poking through there um, for the most part I don't expect to see much of the flame until we get down here to the um, orange pumpkins and I'm anticipating that we are going to see like a glow um, with these little pumpkin like they're not cutouts but you know they're kind of like cutouts maybe are supposed to be <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say I feel like you know you know where I'm going with this so um, I purchased this from the Root Candle website because I know I can no longer get the Root Candles at my local market vendor um they just stopped carrying them so bummer for me so now i have to order from the website like everybody else so i purchased this particular candle when they were doing free shipping um they seem to be doing that a lot more frequently which i think is fantastic or shipping free shipping at a certain price point which i think is good because in the past they very rarely did any type of free or discounted shipping and it was usually pretty expensive to get um these home from Ohio because hey guess what candles are heavy and they're expensive to ship and they do require adequate packaging to make it in one piece and one thing I will say for root candles is they like triple wrap their candles in like the really nice big bubble wrap so they're very protected when they come your way um so big thumbs up to them for that however this particular candle is one of my first flops in a long time from Root Candle. Um, this candle is unscented. I don't know. I don't know what went wrong here because normally Root Candles do pretty well for me. You know, like every company, there's a dud here and there, but I cannot smell this candle, you guys. So the notes of pumpkin roll, which again are part of this, like um, I think it's like a. They're calling it their noir collection. Um, it's part of their like fall seasonal release. So the notes in here read warm cinnamon and creamy nutmeg blend with layers of pumpkin spice cake swirl together with a fluffy sweet filling. It sounds amazing, right? It basically sounds like a delicious pumpkin gourmand scent, except I can't smell a thing. When I first got it, um, it only had one of those little paper covers on it, so there was never a lid on this candle. I'm wondering if that had something to do with the loss of fragrance. I don't know, but this is new for this year. This is not from last year's collection or anything like that, and I just ordered this, um, I think it was like a month or so ago. No, it was a couple months ago now. I think it was right when they started releasing some of their fall stuff. Um, so... 
it, moral of the story is I had I haven't had this candle for very long, but there was no lid on it, and now I can't smell anything. I mean, it's nice ambiance, but I need to be able to smell the candle. So the strength and throw on this, I can't even put it at a one because, and I'm just gonna like stand right over it for a second. It's nothing. <laughs> I don't smell a thing. It's like they forgot to put the oils in, except I know there is some fragrance in here because um, when I first got it, I was able to, you know, just kind of do a cold sniff test and it smelled like a really nice gourmand, um, somewhat generic, just typical fall pumpkin cake or pumpkin swirl type of scent. Um, it was really nice on cold sniff, but it is not translating at all to uh, being lit. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I just, I'm really disappointed. I actually thought about sending Root an email just to kind of let them know about my experience. Um, they, they certainly didn't send this candle to me or anything, but I have been in contact with Root candles in the past. Every once in a while over the last, I would say, like three or four years, they would reach out and say, hey, can we send you one of our candles to review? And, you know, I always said yes, because like I said, I've been buying these for years from just the flower market. So I knew they were good candles, which is why I was, you know, always really appreciative when Root Candle wanted to reach out and partner with me on a video. But um yeah, this just, this is not it. <laughs> this is not it. I think I might go ahead and just send them a quick email and let them know. Um, because this is just not what I've come to expect from this company at all. So honestly, I don't know that I would recommend really getting anything from this collection because if this one was a dud, I tend to think that potentially the other ones could be as well. Um, I'm going to show you guys the wicks here looks pretty puny right so whoops sorry guys <laughs> so with my root candles in the past i've never really trimmed the wicks because um for a lot of them i've never really had to this one i have not trimmed the wicks because they're just very very short when i'm done burning the candle and there's nothing to trim there's no mushroom tops um nothing uh i will say the wax in here is white it is becoming a little bit discolored so i feel like there is some um maybe some slight sooting or at least some sorry mr kong is sitting next to me if you hear any growling or barking it's him um there might be some stuff falling off of the wicks into the wax causing the discoloration but it just kind of ruins the scent even more um, when you have those debris falling into the wax. So I think they should go back to the drawing board with this one because I think it has some really good potential to be an amazing gourmand, you know, autumnal scent. But as of right now, I can't really smell it. So what I'm planning on doing with this one is I'm going to blow it out at this point and I'm just going to use it outside as a patio candle. Um, so we'll just burn it at night. Um, can you guys hear this whining that he's doing? He is <laughs> really being obnoxious right now. Um, so yeah, we'll just use this one outside on our patio this fall. Um, but I'm bummed. I mean, it's such a cute container. Look at how cute it is. Like it's, it's adorable, right? Like that's darling. Um, I really wanted this one to be a winner, but she's just not. So Hopefully this was helpful. If you're thinking about ordering anything from this collection, I would say maybe don't. Um, check out some of their other just like regular core line scents. Those I've never really had a problem with. Um, tobacco Vanille or Vanille Tobacco. I can't remember which it is. Um, that one's a really great one to try. Um, I've actually burned a couple of those and um, yeah, that, that would probably get you a little bit more fragrance. That's one of those like smoky marshmallow type scents. So um, that would be my recommendation over this bad boy right here. So uh, another womp womp for today. <laughs> so, 
this was not the greatest day for uh, for fragrance, uh, obviously on my channel here, but uh, you win some, you lose some. So n nobody is perfect 100% of the time. And I'll just give you guys a quick look at Mr. Kong and then I'm gonna sign off. There he is. Yep. Yeah, he just will just sit here and bark at me. Isn't that fun? All right, you guys, have a great rest of your Sunday. Um, please be safe over the holiday weekend, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.